Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. It's Miss Bland. Let's go over what Wednesday means for you. So today, Wednesday's the ELA. You're still reading Starry Night. That's your story for this week. We will introduce a new level book tomorrow. Before today, you're still in Starry Night. Your first skill for today is text evidence. Remember, text evidence is being able to find our answer where? I hope you said in our story, because that's exactly what this entails. So on your Wednesday page, you will find that you have questions listed. Some of those questions even provide you with the page number. That's our text evidence. That's finding your answer inside of the text. On the back, you're continuing to work with one of our skills for unit three, week two, which is sequencing. I want you to sequence the story for me. Give me at least two sentences in each box that tell me about the story, what happened, who was there, and what it meant to you. Look at the transitional words are already included. So your job is just to write some great second grade sentences to tell me about Starry Night. Going along with the ELA today, you need to make sure you review your spelling words. Make sure you go over those words that have that Y and I sound on the end, but that letter isn't a Y or an I. It's an, I mean, excuse me, an I or an E. It is a Y. And sometimes Y makes a different sound. So yo, yo man doesn't always say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes he says E, sometimes he says I. So make sure you're practicing those. So you'll be ready for that test as well. Compound words. We started our skill of compound words last week. Two little words put together to make one big word. One big one. So they were little when they came together. One word. So you'll have an activity in Seesaw today as well that goes along with your compound word review just to make sure you stay sharp on those. So think about our pancakes. Think about our L's. All the things we did last week that went along with your compound words. So make sure you work on that. It will be dated for 12-9. You have a spelling activity. Make sure you do that as well. So make sure you complete those. Now for math. Math for today is something that you are super, super, super amazing at. It is greater than, less than, and equal to. You will use greater than, less than, and equal to to answer each of these questions. We remember that you always like to talk about Mr. Gator. Mr. Gator likes to munch juicy numbers for his lunch. Small numbers make his belly sore, but big numbers make him shout for more. So none of us wanna have a stomach ache. So we have to eat the bigger numbers. You will see inequalities with two digit numbers. You will see inequalities greater than, less than with three digit numbers. You will see greater than, less than, and equal to with subtraction problems where you're gonna to have to subtract on both sides and then choose the correct symbol. And you'll also see it where you have to add on both sides and then choose the correct symbol. You will see it with place value as well. So it's pretty heavy. Greater than, less than moms and dads is a huge skill that covers across several of our standards and is um, listed a lot. So we're gonna use it today as our baseline of review. Please make sure that you give it your best effort and do an amazing job. Hmm, what else? It's Wednesday. Tomorrow, tomorrow you will have a story. The story that you need for tomorrow is not in your reading book, but it will be located on the web page, and I will try to see if I can move it to Seesaw. I'm not exactly sure if that'll work, but I'll try. On Friday, of course, we'll be Zooming together, but we will see you on Friday for that later on. If you need something, please let Miss Bland know. I am available in the afternoons and available by Dojo most all day. Otherwise, I need you to make sure you reread, which means to read uh, again. Very good. You're going to reread Starry Night. You are going to complete your text evidence questions. Now, we know we love to highlight our text evidence answers and circle them. Don't do that in a reading book. Just put them on the paper. And then for sequencing, be sure you write good second grade thoughts. They don't have to be complete, complete sentences, but it needs to be a complete thought. If it doesn't make sense, when you read it, when you think about it, and when you say it, try to fix it. Then you're going to work with your compound word activity for your skill review. You are going to practice those spelling words where Y sounds like E and I, and you are gonna make sure that that vocabulary is reviewed for you this week. You had those words last week and some of you rocked them. So I need you to make sure you give it that same effort as you review them this week. Then for your math for this week, for today, excuse me, you are doing greater than, less than, and equal to. You're using it in place value, in addition, and in subtraction. If you have questions or you need anything, you can always let Ms. Bland know. 
Remember to focus on your ELA standards as you're going through. What can you see in the night sky is your essential question. It's a fiction story. Our genre this week is fiction, which means Josie and Lane, they're not real people that we can go find, but they're made up, it has a beginning, a middle, and an end, and it has some dialogue, which means they talk to each other and to other people, which they do. Our story has a plot, a beginning, a middle, and an end, and of course, we're sticking with our skill of sequencing. Problem and solution plays a huge part in our week, and we want you guys to be comfortable using it as well. If there's something that comes up, we reread to make sure that we understand the text. And we reread because rereading makes us familiar with the text. So even if we understood it the first time, we like to reread. So this has been our story for the week. Just like we read Mr. Putter at school every day, we're reading Starry Night at Home every day. So now, Ms. Blaine wants you to be comfortable there. If there's anything you need or anything that we can do for you, please let us know. Finish up. Remember to do your epic reading or to do it on a hardback book that you may already have at home. But write down the title if it's not epic and Ms. Bland can't see it. Remember to check in with me if you don't get to see Salt today so that I'll know you did your work and I can mark you present. If you need something, I'm a holler away. Have a great Wednesday. Love you guys. Stay safe. See ya.